Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Recent events in the ongoing Russian-Ukrainian war have brought renewed attention to the endurance and efficacy of Soviet-era military equipment, notably the S-200 air defense missile system, known in NATO nomenclature as SA-5 Gammon. Ukrainian armed forces have claimed that this aging system has successfully intercepted several modern Russian aircraft, including an A-50A WAX plane and a 2-22M3 bomber. In this article, we delve into the combat capabilities and technical intricacies of the S-200 air defense missile system, exploring its missile technology, radar components, and performance in engagements. The S-200 system, developed during the Soviet era, remains operational in various countries, including Ukraine and Russia. Despite its age, the system's ability to effectively engage modern aerial threats highlights its continued relevance in contemporary conflicts. At the heart of the S-200 system is its missile technology. The system typically employs a two-stage, solid-fueled missile with a maximum range of up to 300 kilometers and a maximum altitude of approximately 40 kilometers. This impressive range and altitude capability allow the S-200 to engage high-altitude targets such as reconnaissance aircraft, bombers, and even ballistic missiles. The system's missiles are equipped with semi-active radar homing seekers, enabling them to track and intercept targets with precision. Integral to the S-200's effectiveness is its radar components. The system is equipped with various radar systems, including the Square Pair Early Warning Radar, the Long Track Target Acquisition Radar, and the Straight Flush Target Tracking Radar. These radar systems work in concert to detect, track, and engage aerial targets with accuracy and efficiency. The Square Pair Radar provides long-range surveillance and detection capabilities, while the Long Track and Straight Flush Radars offer target tracking and engagement guidance. In combat engagements, the S-200 system has demonstrated its ability to engage and neutralize a range of aerial threats. Its radar-guided missiles are capable of intercepting targets with high accuracy, even in the face of modern electronic countermeasures. The system's engagement performance against advanced Russian aircraft underscores its enduring effectiveness in air defense operations. Despite its age, the S-200 air defense missile system continues to play a significant role in the defense strategies of countries like Ukraine. Its proven capabilities in intercepting modern aircraft highlight the enduring legacy of Soviet-era military technology and its continued relevance in contemporary conflicts. The S-200 missile, a crucial component of the S-200 air defense system, boasts sophisticated engineering and formidable capabilities. This single-stage missile comprises four jettisonable, wraparound solid fuel booster packs, each measuring 4.9 meters in length and 0.48 meters in diameter, with a fin span of 0.35 meters from the body. The core missile, known as the 5V21, extends to a total length of 10.5 meters, featuring a maximum wingspan of 2.85 meters. Its main body, with a diameter of 0.86 meters, houses a single-stage liquid-fuel rocket engine generating a thrust of 10,000 kilograms for durations ranging from 51 to 150 seconds. Operating within a range of velocities from 700 to 2,500 meters per second, the S-200 missile demonstrates adaptability to various engagement scenarios. The operational range varies across different versions, the original S-200 spans up to 150 kilometers, the S-200V extends to 250 kilometers, and the S-200D further increases this capability to 300 kilometers. A minimum engagement range of approximately 7 kilometers is set, influenced by the initial booster burn time of 3 to 5 seconds, producing 160,000 kilograms of thrust, crucial for clearing the launcher and initiating trajectory towards the target. The missile's guidance system operates in two stages, initial guidance is provided via command signals from the 5N62 square pair radar up to approximately 60 kilometers from the launch site. Beyond this range, the missile autonomously switches to its own active radar terminal homing seeker, ensuring precise targeting during the final approach. This dual guidance system effectively engages targets at various altitudes, with the S-200 reaching up to 20,000 meters, the S-200V up to 29,000 meters, and the S-200D capable of intercepting targets at altitudes as high as 40,000 meters. The minimum operational altitude for all versions is set at 300 meters. Equipped with a 217 kg high-explosive, HE, fragmentation warhead, comprising 97 kg of explosives, the S-200 missile offers formidable destructive potential. This warhead is detonated by either proximity or command fusing, 
depending on tactical requirements and the nature of the target. Certain variants of the missile also feature a 25 kiloton nuclear warhead, presenting a strategic deterrence option. The headquarters unit of an S-200 regiment holds a central position in the overall air defense strategy, with its radar section serving as a critical component. This section utilizes a D-band radar, known as Big Back in NATO terminology, with an impressive range exceeding 500 kilometers. This early warning radar system plays a pivotal role in detecting incoming aerial threats at long ranges, offering the regiment essential lead time to respond effectively and coordinate defensive measures. Each missile battalion within the S-200 regiment is meticulously organized to optimize operational efficiency and readiness. The primary component of these battalions is the P-35M radar, designated as Bar Lock B by NATO. This E-F-band radar system can search and acquire targets up to 320 kilometers away. It incorporates a D-band IFF, Identify Friend or Foe, system, crucial for distinguishing between friendly and hostile units during complex air engagements. Additionally, each missile battalion is furnished with an H-band 5 and 62 radar, referred to as Square Pair by NATO. This radar system has a range exceeding 270 kilometers and is specifically tailored for missile guidance, ensuring precision in targeting and engagement. Its ability to guide missiles accurately is fundamental to the effectiveness of the S-200's defensive operations. Complementing the radar systems, each battalion includes six 5P-72 launchers. These semi-fixed, single-rail launchers are trainable, allowing for flexible engagement angles against incoming threats. Each launcher is accompanied by its respective loader units, essential for missile handling and readiness, ensuring the S-200 can respond promptly to threats. Furthermore, the missile battalions are equipped with pre-launch preparation cabins and diesel-powered electricity generator stations. These components are vital for maintaining missile readiness and operational autonomy. The preparation cabins provide secure and controlled environments for the technical preparations of missiles before deployment, while the generators ensure a reliable power supply critical for the radar systems, launch mechanisms, and support facilities to function effectively, particularly in remote or underdeveloped operational theaters. In 2000, the Almaz Design Bureau, known for its innovative air defense systems, introduced a comprehensive upgrade package for the S-200VE system, aiming to boost its performance and adaptability to modern air defense requirements. A significant aspect of this upgrade was the introduction of the 5V28M missile variant, which extended the engagement range of the system to 300 kilometers. This enhancement brought the S-200VE's capabilities in line with its successors, the S-200D and S-200DE models, enabling a more versatile and responsive defense against high-altitude threats. Moreover, the upgrade expanded the operational flexibility of the S-200VE by allowing individual battery deployment locations to be positioned up to 100 kilometers away from the battalion headquarters. This adjustment enabled centralized target data coordination over a larger area, thereby improving the system's coverage and effectiveness in safeguarding extensive territories. Another notable enhancement was the addition of an oral indicator to the target illumination radar, providing operators with audible cues identifying the detected target type. This feature bolstered situational awareness and response times in complex air defense environments. Furthermore, the guidance system received substantial improvements to enhance the system's ability to intercept targets with low radial speeds. These modifications ensured effectiveness against a wider range of aerial threats, including slower-moving or hovering aircraft that might have posed challenges to intercept previously. Despite its origins in the early Cold War era, the S-200 air defense missile system continues to demonstrate resilience and relevance on the modern battlefield. Its various upgrades over the decades have enhanced its range, accuracy, and lethality, making it a valuable component of air defense strategies for several nations, including Ukraine. The recent successful use of the S-200 by Ukrainian forces to down advanced Russian aircraft highlights its enduring utility. Despite its age, the system has proven capable of engaging and destroying sophisticated aerial platforms, showcasing both the robustness of its design and the strategic prowess of Ukrainian forces in leveraging available resources effectively. The S-200's continued operational effectiveness is a testament to the foresight of its Soviet designers and ongoing modernization efforts that have kept it relevant. Its utilization in conflict zones like Ukraine underscores the significant role older systems can play in national defense when combined with sound tactics and strategy. That's all for now, see you later.